Hi, my name's Toby Stevens from Black Cells and Lost in Space, and you're watching Supernova TV. We are here with Toby Stevens. Welcome. Now, Toby, you are most well known recently for Black Sails. Mm -hmm. What did you first get started on, though? Uh, well, when I first came out of drama school, I was much more involved in theatre back in the UK. I mean, theatre back there is a big thing, obviously. Mm. And uh, w when I came out of drama school, which is a long time ago now, that was where you kind of cut your teeth as an actor. You wanted to do as much theatre as possible to kind of give you the best grounding in, in, uh, in kind of the profession. Yeah, yeah, and for you, was it always an aim to get into TV film acting? I wanted to get into film. At the time, film was the thing that you really wanted to aspire to and theatre. It was like the combination of the two. Um, I ended up doing, uh, you know, dramas uh, uh, at home on, on BBC and ITV and stuff like that. But I, I, I wanted, I aspired to, to become a movie actor at that time, yeah. What movies inspired you to want to do this? Oh my gosh, I mean, I grew up watching films. Uh, I mean, it seemed at the time uh, there was a lot more films on TV, especially classic films like black and white movies. And I, and I grew up watching all of the classic kind of uh, movies, Hitchcock, uh, Q Core, you know, Kubrick, all of those ones. And, you know, I loved movies and I loved movie stars. I mean, people like Clint Eastwood and stuff like that were my kind of models. Um, but, uh, you know, and, but that's, that's really the, what I grew up kind of watching. Okay, and you went to drama school. Which school did you go to? I went to one called Lambda, and which is, I mean, they're all much of a muchness. There are like three main drama schools, three or four in the UK. There's like RADA, Lambda, Guildhall. Um, and so, you know, I, I went to Lambda, had a three year training. It was mostly at that time, it was mostly a theater training, actually. I mean, you didn't really do any film training at all. And in fact, when I got my first filming jobs, I had no idea about how to how filming worked and it was one of those things where I had to learn incredibly quickly and in black sales there are so many different skills that come into it I mean you've got horse riding you mm -hmm. have sailing which is obviously a, it's pirates so you've yeah, got yeah, to yeah. have some sailing going on um, what is one of the skills that you've had to pick up to play these characters that you've portrayed? Well the thing is uh, well god I mean like loads over time I mean I've I had to do, for example, in uh, Black Sails and in other things, I've had to do various forms of fight. You know, I'm not a particularly aggressive or violent person, but I've had to pick up all kinds of different um, forms of fighting, like whether it's fencing, whether it's using bare knuckle stuff, whether it's doing martial arts, whether it's, you know, you, you have to pick up those things all the time. In terms of learning how to sail, I have no idea how to sail. I just you know, I just said the words like- Do you I know your port from your starboard? I knew all of that. I knew the basics of that stuff. And we had this really great guy who uh, was, he was, he was, he's the authority on those kind of ships, mm. that kind of um, sailing. And he would explain all of the kind of jargon to me. So I, I basically knew what I was saying. Now we do have one question just to finish us mm -hmm. up from Twitter. Uh, a fan on Twitter, their name is Shipping Dragons on Shipping Twitter, Dragons. has asked about the fan base from Black Sails and the fact that it has so many diverse artists and creators in that fan base. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is it like as an actor to see this kind of appreciation from fan artists? Well, it, look, any kind of, uh, uh, you know, any fan, that you have, you appreciate, because it means that your work has a resonance. It's, it's resonating with people. And I, I, I'm, I'm really happy that Black Sales has such a huge following and such a loyal following. And, um, you know, I, you know I, I really value all of the people. I mean, I get a lot of uh, people 
um, who come to me and say, you know, that Flint means an enormous amount to them, having a gay character in a TV series. Um, and the one that's strong and has this kind of incredible character arc and stuff. And I'm incredibly flattered and honored that people relate to him and that they found him, you know, to be helpful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us at Supernova thank TV. Thank you.